Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 8th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about nested components. Alright, so in the last tutorial we went ahead and created this new component called Home Component which sits in this home directory and it, we sat it beneath the root component. Now, we created, or rather, Angular created a simple template for that home component and we had a tag for it at home and then we wanted to insert this component within the root component right here so we place that at home tag right there so hopefully angular sees that tag and then finds this component and pops that home component view in it but it wasn't working so why is that not working well it's because this app component this root component right here that we're trying to put or rather nest the home component in because we're trying to nest it in this view right here, that doesn't know what the home component is. Okay, we have to tell it explicitly that, look, we want to use the home component in this component. And the way we do that is by importing it at the top. So the way we can do that is by saying import, and then we want to put here the name of our component. And that is this thing right here, home component. So let's copy that and go back here. So we want to import this and then we want to say where we're importing it from. And that is from this file right here, home component. So that is in the dot forward slash to say, well, in the root folder that I'm currently in, right? And then forward slash home, because it's in the home folder, forward slash, and then it's just gonna be index. And the reason I'm putting index is because we have an index file right here in this home folder. And if we take a look at that, you can see what this is doing is exporting everything from the home component, okay? Which is this thing right here. So it's exporting this class, right? So now we're importing from here, which is getting this class right here. And now we can use it in this app component, all right? So let's save that now and see if this works. And it probably still won't work. Let's just refresh and find out. And nope, it still doesn't work. And that is because we need to do one more thing. In here, in sorry, in the um, app.component, yep, we've imported that component right there. So it knows to expect it. However, we need to do one more thing. And that is to say, you need to expect a certain directive because this thing right here is a directive. And a directive is something that just tells Angular to do something. We're gonna look at directives a bit later on, but just know for now that this is a directive. So we have to tell this component, as well as importing this thing, also expect this directive at home. So how do we do that? Well, we just come down here in the component and we go inside the decorator and then we say directives colon and then this takes an array and it's going to be the home component right here it's going to look in this home component for the directive so now if we save and go to a browser we get an error and that's because I put directive and not directives save that now and this should work and there we go so now we see home works so what we've done now is nested a component in this app component so going back to the diagram, we have this root component and we've nested the home component beneath it. And we've nested it by telling the root component, look, expect the home component and expect the home component directive in your view file. All right. So that's how we nest components. So just to go over it one more time, we have this app.component file, which is our root component. That's our entire application component. Then within that, we have nested this home component right here in the home directory. We created this component and this component is called home component, right? And it has this selector. So what we've done is we've placed that selector in the app component view right there. So we're saying whenever you come across this, now you should replace this tag with the content of the home component view, right? And in order for that to work, we had to go into the app.component TypeScript file 
and we had to import the home component so that it could use it in this component and also import this directive or rather tell this component that we're going to use this home component directive okay so that's how we nest components any questions feel free to leave those down below otherwise i'm going to see you in the very next tutorial